the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen the grace of our lord jesus christ and the love of god and the communion of the holy spirit be with you all and with your spirit my dear brothers and sisters let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries i confess and to my brothers and sisters that i have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words in what i have done and in what i have failed to do through my fault through my fault through my most grievous fault therefore i ask you as a reverence all the angels and saints and to my brothers and sisters to pray for me to the lord May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who manifest your Almighty power above all by pardoning and showing mercy. bestow we pray your grace abundantly upon us and make those who hastening to attain your promises his to the treasures of heaven through our lord jesus christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit one god for ever and ever a reading from the book of job this was the answer job gave to the lord i know that you are all powerful what you conceive you can perform i am the man who obscure your designs with my empty headed words i have been holding forth on matters I cannot understand on marbles beyond me and my knowledge. I knew you then only be my hearsay. But now having seen you with my own eyes, I retract all I have said and in dust and ashes I repent. The Lord blessed Job's new fortune even more than his first one he came to at own 14000 sheep 6000 camels a thousand yoke of oxen and a thousand she donkeys he had seven son and three daughters his first daughter called turtle dove the second kasha and the third mascara throughout the land there were a, no woman as beautiful as the daughter of job and their father gave them inheritance rights like their brothers after his trials job lived on until he was 140 years old and saw his children and his children's children up to the fourth generation Then Job died, all an old man and full of days. The word of the Lord. Responsorial psalm. Let your face shine on your servant, O Lord. Let your face shine on your servant, O Lord. Teach me discernment and knowledge, for I trust in your command. It was good for me to afflicted. to learn your statutes <laughs> Lord I know that your decrees are right that you afflicted me justly but your decree the earth endures to this day for all things serves you I am your servant 
make me understand, then I shall know your will. The unfolding of your word gives light and teaches the simple. Alleluia, Alleluia. Blessed are you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, for revealing the mystery of kingdom to mere children. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. The seventy-two came back rejoicing. Lord, they said, even the devils submit to us when we use your name. Jesus said to them, I watched Satan fall like lightning from heaven. Yes, I have given you power to trade underfoot serpents and scorpions and the whole strength of enemy. Nothing shall ever hurt you. Yet do not rejoice that the spirits submit to you. Rejoice rather that your names are written in heaven. It was then that, filled with joy by the Holy Spirit, he said, I bless you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, for hiding these things from land and the clover and revealing them to the mere children. Yes, Father, for that is what is pleased you to do. Everything has been entrusted to me by my Father, and no one knows who the Son is except the Father, and who the Father is except the Son, and those to whom the Son chooses to reveal him. Then turning to his disciples, he so spoke to them in private, Happy the eyes that see what you see. For I, I tell you that many prophets and kings wanted to see what you see, and never saw it. To hear what you hear, I never heard it. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the wine and work of your hands, it will become our spiritual. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and good of all His holy church. Grant us, O merciful God, that this our offering may find acceptance with you, and that through it the wellspring of all the blessing may be laid open before us through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up Let us Lord. give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. 
It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father, most holy. Through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for a holy people, he stretched out his hand as he entered his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed you see comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the default, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Paul, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of resurrection, and all who died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be cohesive to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. 
let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. In the name of the body and blood of Jesus Christ, the bring it in the Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May this heavenly mystery, O Lord, restore us in mind and body that we may be cohes in glory with Christ, to whose suffering we are united whenever we proclaim his death, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go for mercy centered.